So, Bamfalon goes away because I asked Falothit, so... Yeah. My heart just started beating Victory back. this play so it doesn't get back in the deck. No doubt. And... Oh, wait, hang on. Let's resolve the quest first. Um, We have more willpower than threat. We make no progress. Yeah. Travel! Uh, first Ooh. player. Hi, Tris. Must make a hide three Up to test. The I have two hide three. You have Faramir play, right? I do. I will give you plus one willpower to all your characters. Go okay. all out. Yeah, I'll juice it. How many is that? One, two, three, four. And that's adding three, Damn it. four, five. This turn was my seven, turn to shine. Eight, hold on, hold on. That's overkill. Hold on, let's back it up. No, it's not overkill. We need to get to Buckleberry overkill? Ferry. We've got defense covered. Yeah. Okay, we... fine. I did nine for my high test. It's high but, three. Uh, Legolas is back to one willpower, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so one is Road Like a Gale. Yep. Two, hey. Gildor. And three, uh, Athless Country. All right, we traveled to Buckleberry Ferry. Thanks. You guys are super hidden. I'll take the Nazgul. <laughs> yeah, please do. Um, I'll take Brian, a crow. Win for you, and all your heroes are dead for campaign mode. Are you, is that actually the rule? I'm not sure about that. I'll have to dig out my insert as we're debriefing here. Um, all right, all right. So we both optionally engaged, and that one comes to you naturally, Brandon. No, I can't handle him. Uh, I can't faint it if you're. <laughs> I'm not at all worried. <laughs> Mr. Trench, know. Brian threaded out because of was it rolled like it's not rolled like a gale. What's the Doom Two called? one. Doom Two. Hunting for the Where ring. Card is. Yeah, it's like hunting for the ring. Anyway, whoop. Okay, so uh, Brandon, you're first. I'll let it go undefended. Oh, sorry, I was mid yawn there. Because I'm way past my bedtime. Yep. No shadow. No damage. Good. 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 To me. I'll I'm defend an it. hour and six minutes past my bedtime. Tom def confirms that my heroes are all dead for campaign mode. Aww. Okay. Uh, Emery Hill takes a wound. Fallen hero. Well, at least I get to try a new deck next time. <laughs> dwarves, Brian. Dwarves. I'll go undefended for the crows. I'll do dwarves. Okay. Zero damage. I'll go undefended for the crows. Tom, zero we will damage. not house rule. We follow it to a T. Oh, fainted. Yeah, uh, I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> you broke the ruin, Brian. I mean, we really did. <laughs> At the, Brian, come on. Right. What? That that gives Ride to Ruin a little bit of uh a little bit of clout now. I I've always said <laughs> the card itself strate strategically is a great card. I've used it many times for for great effect. Yeah, Brian, you should do Outlands. Trench just suggested. I think it. I think it's. I think it's a good idea. <laughs> just roll Outlands. Outlands. <laughs> Outlands will make me. F will make me really enjoy myself too. Wait. You uh, want to yourself? That's more than enough, um, right? All right, Etienne. This one. Yeah. The the cards were not coming up for me. Okay. Uh, it was from really frustrating. Me, I'll go six. What, like double whiffing on the Steed Rider? Four. <laughs> yes. goes away. I actually, I, I cheated a little bit, and I took a peek at my upcoming cards at one point. And Why are you was, telling us this? Because no, it doesn't affect anything. Put an asterisk beside the victory if we win. <laughs> Some restrictions may apply. It was just, it was complete. I knew I was going to be shuffling the next turn, I believe. That's why. Um, Don't backtrack now, cheater. Oh, I'm not. No, it's because I was, it's because I was playing, uh, what's her face? The, the Mount Lady. Um... <laughs> That's a real a title I'm sure she would love. <laughs> no, what... She failed me three times in this game. Yeah. Okay. All uh, right. Um, control. Start with Brian. Oh wait, shoot. Oh, you too are... soon. <laughs> I played the new ride to ruin. Brandon's out. <laughs> no. It's not in print yet. Okay. Let's I'll finish this up. I'll heal two boys. people. You guys pick. Doesn't really matter at this point. We got a lock on this. Rohan will rise again, Superkilla. Okay. Okay. I will play nothing. Nobody liked Aeolin anyway. Okay. I will 
play what could help me at this point i'll play another fast stitch on uh pippin i guess <laughs> i will shoulder none of that blame trench <laughs> and uh that's it i whiffed on my armor and master whatever his name is Okay, so I will play the black arrow, guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. On that crow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, that is all for me. Okay, Lure that's all, folks. Before somebody steals my punch, sneak attack Gandalf. <laughs> Lower my tread because I'm going out of control at 34. Oh, be careful, man. He is riding to ruin. Yeah. Draw more cards, and yeah, more cards. Yeah, I have four left. I yeah. planned everything perfectly. The Pokemon deck. You gotta draw them all. So, questing. All right. Uh, I will commit Go three, easy, boys. Easy. four, five, nine. Okay. I'll send four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'll send five. Sorry, boys. Does it even matter if I send Legolas as one? No. No. That should be ample. <laughs> no! <laughs> Worst case scenario, you kill something and make two progress with him. Yep. All right, one for me. Well, it's immune to player card effect. Yeah, I wouldn't do anything. Oh, right. Pathless Country. You're right. One for Etienne. Green Hill Country. Good. And one for Brandon. How much you bet this card's going to surge? Ah. All right. Um, Somebody else died? No. No. Hide. Okay. The, okay. No. Everyone make a hide two test because nothing happens if we fail them. Okay. So everyone, everyone just doomed to make a hide test of zero. We all fail. No Nazgul engages. Now you still have to show the hide cards though, right? Oh, oh my God! It really doesn't matter. Technical. <laughs> <laughs> no. We, ultimately, <laughs> we don't need to. Woo. Yeah. All right, boys. That is um, so. Four, I didn't get to use the black arrow. Four threat in the staging area against our... Infinite. Uh, way more than the difference, so we go nine progress. And Mary jumps onto the ferry as it goes away. Or was that Frodo? I don't know. So how many people jumped onto this ferry? And the, and the horse <laughs> skidded to a halt. Because so far I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't keep them getting on. <laughs> And that is a tiny little hunk of wood. And then the eagle gently, gracefully lands on the edge of the, the railing. <laughs> and the whole and thing sinks. just sinks like a rock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now originally I said, what would you guys rate this for fun? Uh, now it's the host's turn. Brian, rate this one on a scale of 1 to 10. 1 being the least fun quest ever, 10 being the most fun quest ever. It's tough to say because I think I would have enjoyed this a lot more if this if the deck had worked the way that it's capable of doing so. Um, I, I just I had crap the whole time. I had nothing. I barely got any allies out on the table. Uh, my experience, I'm gonna say like a four with that one. I agree. Yeah, I, I was gonna say three. Sean, I'd say the quest in general. Um, the quest in general, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Quest in general, solo when you can kind of control the flow of things a little bit more, and the deck doesn't combo you so hard. I'd give it like a eh, six or seven. When you start adding more players, it gets out of hand really quickly. We managed to avoid the location lock this time, but that can happen very, very easily. If I had not specifically yeah. made Brian's deck for location destruction, we would have. Yeah. You know what? If it, if it ended at quest stage two, and the fairy business didn't happen, then I would I would bump it up to like a six. I think. I just find the fairy just the biggest flop in terms of a climax. Uh, but you know, hiding and dodging the black riders is a lot of fun. So, okay. Well, hopefully people enjoyed watching that. We'll wrap it up now since it's quite late. Now, Sean, is there anything we need to do in 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 keeping with the fact that we're playing quest or campaign mode? Like, do we have to finish this by flipping the card over and reading it and that sort of thing? Well, since you ask. <laughs> All right, resolution. We choose Gandalf's Delay or the ring draws Resolution! Them, and we add that to the campaign pool, which means it will forevermore be part of the encounter deck. I say delay. What do you guys say? Yeah, 
in my yeah. experience, that one is less yeah. problematic. Yep. All right. So we'll count it down as Gandalf's delay. And then we choose either Gildor or Mr. Underhill. Mr. Uh, Underhill. Yeah. Gildor is very taxing on the ring resources. So that would be my vote as well. Mr. Underhill. Yeah. Can, can we get a can we get a quorum? Okay. Yeah. But Gildor is so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> well, just take him to your private lair, Brian. We don't need Okay. He can be in my <laughs> campaign pool. <laughs> oh. Yes, All right. filled with. Now, Sean, are you going to read the flavor text in a in a different accent? <laughs> <laughs> that means yes. Um <laughs> Oh, what other horribly stereotypical accent can I go with you? Irish. Uh, no, that... do that French Canadian. Or do your... Oh yeah, do French Canadian. <laughs> do French, English, like British man. Oh Either man, one. the ferry boat moves slowly across the water. Nope, that fell apart quickly. That was just you tired. <laughs> That's pretty much everyone, where we're at. Everyone in the chat is telling us to go with Gildor, except for wait, what? Uh, Super... Oh, never mind. I'm. I'm misreading what Trench was saying. Gildor is good, but he prevents you basically from using the ring. And yeah, the ring so. is huge. It's powerful. One would hope, right? Right. Sean, mm -hmm. we won't make you read it. We will not. We'll stop you there. <laughs> Even though my next suggestion was going to be sexy robot voice. Uh, so folks, the fairy you. boat moved slowly across I the... I said sexy robot. Water. <laughs> that was hot. <laughs> No, that was not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's hear your attempt. That was it. That was it. The fairy boat moves slowly across the water. That's not a robot. Water. That's a cyborg. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Go to hell. <laughs> so, folks, thanks so much for joining us on this epic first stage of the quest. Next Tuesday, we're going to be recording an episode of Cardboard of the Rings, the audio podcast. So we won't be streaming, but the week after that, we'll continue onwards with the quest. Uh, check us out in all the different places that we exist on the internet. Now, we're here right now on Twitch, which is www.twitch.tv slash COTR podcast. And if you didn't catch it on Twitch, you're probably watching it on YouTube, which is youtube.com slash COTR podcast. If you want to email us or contact us uh, about questions, etc., you can send us an email. It's cardboardofthering at gmail.com. That's cardboardofthering, all one word, at gmail.com. And you can check us out on Twitter. It's at COTR Podcast. It's a great way to find out when we're doing our next live stream and occasional randomness. And all the discussion, fun, and antics come out on Facebook. It's www.facebook.com slash Cardboard of the Rings. I think that's everything, right, guys? I should really write that down at some point. I always just <laughs> yeah. try I always, I always wondered if you had a script. <laughs> I I, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with how you belt it out. No doubt. I, I, I've done it a few times. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, practice I can imagine. Perfect. So uh, thanks again, people in the Twitch stream. It's always fun to have you guys contributing. It makes it a lot of fun for us uh, yeah. in particular. I find it super entertaining, especially with these <laughs> custom cards that are coming out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> so much appreciated for those and all the uh, input and error correction on the fly. It really is a good time for us and hopefully a good time for you. And we will see you uh, in, from t in two weeks' time. And hopefully you'll be able to check out episode, I think it's 60, I believe, of the audio podcast, which you can get at on iTunes or www.cardboardofthering.com. So, fellas, unless there's anything else, I'll say farewell. See ya. Bye bye. Nothing else. <laughs> so, <laughs> see you next time.